verify ECS reduced for launch. Verified. 25. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Viasat. T minus 10. 10. 9. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. We have ignition. 2. 1. And liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket, carrying Viasat 3, Flight 2 adding unprecedented capacity to Viasat's global multi-orbit network. Alice is switching over to close loop control. Passing a mile on altitude, and your parameters continue to look healthy. And we complete our roll program, body rate's turning to zero. Mach 1, Alice is now supersonic. Hydraulics is to look good. Engine parameter stable. You are hearing Max Daniel Q, Brunson. Maximum dynamic pressure. Providing launch vehicle ascent data. Vehicle throttling back up to near full power. Passing 3 miles down range, approaching 8 miles in altitude. Body rates continue to look nominal. Hydraulics looking good. Passing seven miles down range. Vehicles beginning to throttle down in preparation for SRV burnout. At this point in flight, the vehicle is now half of its original liftoff weight. And we have good indication of burnout on all five SRBs. Vehicle throttling back up to full power. Passing 30 miles down range, 28 miles in altitude. And good indication of SRB jettison on all five SRBs. Body rates continue to look healthy. And your parameters looking good. We just heard confirmation of solid rocket booster jettison. These additional motors augmented the thrust at liftoff to give the Atlas V rocket an extra boost to reach geosynchronous transfer orbit. We're coming up on our next mission event, Jettison of the Payload Fairing. Let's listen in. Passing 57 miles downrange, traveling at 5,000 miles per hour. Booster is going to begin throttling down, maintain 2.5 G's acceleration in preparation for PLF jettison. Approaching 60 miles in altitude, 6,600 miles per hour. And we've got activation of the second stage RCS system. Hydrazine coming up to flight pressures. And good indication of PLF separation. Flight commentator Daniel Brunson just and called out confirmation of payload fairing jettison. The payload fairing, commonly referred to by many experts across the industry as the pointy end of the rocket, serves to protect the spacecraft from those harsh acoustics and aerodynamic forces as it's ascending through the thicker parts of our atmosphere. Absolutely, and the payload fairing also helps protect from thermal environments and contamination environments as well. Up next, we'll hear callouts for cutoff of the Atlas first stage engine and separation of the booster stage, followed by ignition of ULA Centaur second stage engine. Let's listen in as we approach these milestones. And we've begun boost phase chill down of the upper stage engines. And we've completed boost phase chill down. And good shutdown. That's Pico. 
Good indication of centaur separation. Pre-start on LO2 and LH2. Ignition. And full thrust. This is Atlas Centaur's Mission Control steering. at T plus 4 minutes and 52 seconds. We just heard flight commentator Daniel Brunson confirm the successful completion of the early milestones in today's flight, and all systems continue to operate nominally. We have about six and a half minutes until we reach our next mission event, shutdown of Centaur's main engine. We'll return with mission commentary as we get closer to that next milestone. Just under six minutes remain in this first plan burned. RCS thermal conditioning firings continue. Hydrazine line temps are beginning to approach bottle temps. Vehicles approaching 700 miles downrange, 128 miles in altitude. Centaur PU's gone to closed loop as expected. And we've switched over to our teacher's data format. Signal strength continues to look nominal. Vehicle's now 1,030 miles downrange, continuing right down the center of the range track. Engine parameters continue to look healthy. Body rates looking nominal. PUs come off the lock stop, seeing engine parameters fluctuate accordingly as expected. And hydrazine line temps have converged with bottle temps. Three minutes remain in this first burn. Vehicle approaching 1,450 miles downrange, 145 miles in altitude. Engine parameters continue to look healthy. Two minutes to plan Miko.
Vehicle body rates continue to look nominal. RCS thruster firing is continuing as expected. Passing 1,800 miles downrange. One minute to plan Miko. Thirty seconds to make a one. This is Atlas Mission Control at and L plus eleven advantage. minutes and ten seconds. We're coming up on the end of the first of three Centaur Upper Stage engine burns. Let's listen in. And Miko 1, good shutdown. Settling has gone to 4S mode. Vehicle's begun turning to our second burn attitude. 